While many people have never stopped to think about it, fish are smart, interesting animals with their own unique personalities. Hundreds of studies have shown that fish are intelligent, can use tools and have impressive long-term memories and sophisticated social structures. Fish can tell what time of day it is and can talk to one another through sounds that are inaudible to humans. Research has also clearly shown that fish experience both physical and emotional pain. Their physical reaction to trauma, thrashing, grunting and rocking in distress is obvious and once harmed they will remember what caused the pain and actively avoid it. So fishing, whether for profit or for sport, cannot be considered a harmless or humane activity. For people who oppose cruelty to animals, the suffering that fishing causes should be a real concern. As a major maritime state, India ranks third in the worldwide fish production. Commercial fishing is a big business and its methods are as cruel as those that are used in factory farms or slaughterhouses. Fish are impaled, crushed, suffocated and gutted all while fully conscious. The horrible cruelty that fishers inflict on hundreds of billions of fish is completely unregulated. Bottom trawling is among the most damaging and unsustainable fishing practices in India. It involves dragging huge heavy nets along the sea floor. The large metal plates and rubber wheels that are attached to these nets move along the seabed and crush nearly everything in their path. Deep water life forms are profoundly affected by this practice, taking anywhere from decades to hundreds of years to recover, if they recover at all. A 2005 United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization report concluded the following. One quarter of the world's fish stocks are overexploited, depleted or are recovering from depletion. They have endured excessive fishing pressure which has reduced them significantly. About half of the stocks are fully exploited. They are being fished at or close to their maximum sustainable limits. There is no room for further expansion of fishing activity. 82 varieties of fresh water, cold water, brackish and marine water fish are either endangered or vulnerable. Fish farmers raise thousands of fish in ponds, pools and concrete tanks. Aqua farms are located close to shorelines and fish in these farms are packed into net or mesh cages. All fish farms are rife with pollution, disease and suffering. According to investigators, the ponds in some government fish farms were kept in such an unhygienic condition that they were no better than drainage water and many fish who were forced to live in dirty water contracted skin diseases. Fish were infested with parasites and suffered from other illnesses. Many ponds were so dirty that it was difficult to see whether there were fish in them. Fish became stressed as handlers carelessly transferred them from ponds to plastic bags that did not have adequate water and oxygen. Many people grow up fishing without ever considering the terror and suffering that fish endure when they are impaled by hooks and pulled out of water for sport. Even when anglers return fish to the water, many of them die from their stress and injuries. Very often, non-targeted animals like sea snakes get hooked, which are then killed mercilessly. Conditions are extremely poor in local fish markets across the country. The markets flout basic hygiene and sanitation norms. In fish markets, fish are slaughtered openly and their blood strewn everywhere. Pieces of fish flesh can be seen lying on the floor which was never cleaned. Flies were everywhere, risking contamination to the fish meat. Endangered species such as sharks and dolphins were sold openly at government-owned ports 
without the government authorities paying any attention to it. Because the merchants do not fear the police or government authorities, they were more than happy to show us the many varieties of illegal fish that they were selling. Investigators discovered that shark meat was easily available at a price of 100 to 120 rupees per kilogram and an entire shark could be purchased for just 2,000 rupees. Small sharks were left alive in shops to suffocate. Commercial fishing and aquaculture have an extremely negative impact on the environment. Commercial fishing destroys biodiversity. As wide nets sweep up the fish in their path, they take coral habitats with them. Commercial fishers have devastated the ocean's ecosystem to the extent that some large fish populations are only 10% as large as they were in the 1950s. According to one study, the world's oceans could be empty of fish by 2048 because of overfishing, loss of habitat, climate change and pollution. Fish farms have caused serious eutrophication of water columns and sediment in enclosed coastal areas, causing seabed environment to become drastically depleted of oxygen. Fish live in water that is so polluted you would never dream of drinking it. But you ingest this toxic brew, bacteria, contaminants, heavy metals and all, every time you eat fish. Many studies have revealed that fish often contain unusually high levels of mercury. High levels of mercury which accumulates in the environment, in fish flesh and in the bodies of people who eat fish contribute to birth defects and other health problems and several studies have demonstrated lower mental acuity among children of women who consume fish during their pregnancies. Experts advise young children, pregnant women, nursing women and women of childbearing age to avoid consuming fish because of the high mercury levels that they contain. For animals, for the planet and for our own well-being, we should leave fish off our plates and enjoy healthy, humane and environmentally friendly vegetarian foods instead. For more information, visit PetaIndia.com.